Hi, we are TJ Delta Green. Welcome to our school. Thomas Jefferson High School, located right outside of Washington, D.C., is a science and technology magnet school. The school was built in 1965 and it serves students from five school districts and two cities. Our school has been recognized as the number one high school in the United States for the past three years consecutively. And it has been visited by notable figures including the Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu, Secretary of Education Arne Duncan, and President Ronald Reagan to recognize our school's performance. Just last year, EPA Administrator Lisa Jackson visited our school to celebrate TJ's achievement in environmental action. In the last several years, students alone raised nearly $60,000 to build what news station recognized as, quote, the largest charitable privately funded photovoltaic solar panel installation at any secondary school in the nation. Today, Thomas Jefferson High School unveiled 22 solar panels that took more than two years to purchase and install. While the students of TJ are environmentally conscious, our 45-year-old facility is in a state of disrepair. Mold is often cited as a problem. The aged roofs have repeatedly leaked in the past. Most bathrooms let, lack any ventilation, and classrooms are reflective of the institutional design of the 1960s. The school is virtually free of any energy efficiency measures, still using ancient single-pane windows and wasting hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. In fact, the entire school is so inefficient that our school spends nearly $400,000 each year just to pay the bills. Only a comprehensive renovation can really bring the change needed to our school, but we have come up with a proposal to solve some of these problems. Our proposal for the Conrad Competition is a functional and integrated eco-roof at our school. This eco-roof would combine various sustainable technologies such as solar water heaters and photovoltaic panels. We also propose several more ambitious components, including the installment of thin film solar cells, which are lightweight, flexible alternatives, and piezoelectric heel strike generators that convert mechanical energy of steps into electricity. All these technologies would harvest and conserve energy, save money, and benefit the environment, while simultaneously using the roof as a social instructional space. One of the most important reasons why we chose this idea was a pre-existing condition here at TJ, especially the multi-layer design of the roof. In many hallways, the first story roof can easily be accessible from the second story roof, as you can see right here, or this area right here. If we could have these spaces available, we could transform the previously unused roof into a valuable area for academic and social learning. Another reason why we came up with this plan specifically is the wide scope of environmental and health benefits such an initiative would bring. As seen in our school improvement plan, our plan would fulfill all these lead categories. Sustainable features would fulfill energy and atmosphere points, open skylights would improve ventilation and daylighting, and vegetation would improve roof durability while reducing heat island effect, providing natural habitat, and increasing water efficiency. All in all, our comprehensive eco-roof will add about 18 lead points to our existing school facility. TJ Justice is already well broadcasted for its academic achievements, therefore much attention will be called to its eco-roof. The eco-roof will thus set an example for energy efficiency for other buildings and schools seeking repair or in need of improvement. Ultimately, this project will demonstrate the ability of an integrated eco-roof to aid the environment while saving money and energy. And when the practicality and efficiency of this eco roof is known, other buildings across the globe then will hopefully follow suit in pursuing similar renovations. While TJ HSST's eco roof would serve as a prime example for other buildings, our school would simultaneously benefit from both usable space and sustainable innovations in the eco roof. Although TJHSSD's current roof is leaky and lacks poor insulation, little structural readjustment will be necessary to create the eco roof. Thus, the grant money could be saved to install the various technologies described above. These technologies could be integrated further into TJHSSD's science and technology classes and extracurricular activities. 
Because of the immense environmental, economic, and inspirational benefit of an integrated eco-roof to TJHSST, the surrounding community, and hopefully buildings across the globe, we urge you to support our proposal.